How many of you are using FOCA right now? How many of you love FOCA? How many of you, how many of you love the guys who are presenting FOCA? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. How many girls of you? <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, let's start. Let's start with the with the presentation. Oh, let's start with the presentation. First of all, a quick introduction about about us. Uh, here is uh, Palaco. He is a friend of mine, long time ago. He is working as a software architect in in Yahoo. And I'm Chema Alonso. I work in a in a Spanish company called i64, and I'm also a Microsoft MVP in enterprise security since five years ago. But Microsoft has nothing to do in this presentation; it's just life. So, <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. For the new people, how many of you don't know anything about Foca? Okay, for you, a quick introduction about what is Foca. Well, first, first a quick introduction about what FOCA is not. FOCA doesn't have anything to do with freedom of choice art. <laughs> There's FOCA doesn't have anything to do with fellowship of Orthodox Christians in America. <laughs> FOCA is not religious, so she doesn't understand. This is a FOCA. <laughs> a that's FOCA, a FOCA. <laughs> that's a FOCA. That's a lovely animal, it's a seal. And we, of course, it's true. And you guys have been asking us for the last year, uh, Foca only runs in Windows. When is going to be running on Linux? But Foca eats penguins. <laughs> so, <laughs> we cannot port this to Linux. She will eat it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So now for the people who, who is new in this talk, a quick introduction about previously on Foca. So this whole thing is started in our company, well, in his company, when he, uh, well, these guys do penetration testing uh, all year long. And one day they saw how important the stuff there is in documents, like metadata, uh, how, that, how important is that as a first step in a penetration testing. There's like users, network shares, every, all, all the stuff that we're going to see in a minute. So it all started with this tool called Metastructure that then became uh, Foca. And as you can see, it's in Spanish because in Spanish it's better. <laughs> so what Foca does is basically analyze a whole bunch of different file types. It's going to look inside uh, every possible kind of office document, like doc, uh, PDFs, uh, PPTs, Excel. Uh, it's going to look inside EPS, uh, images, um, and so on and so on. So we've done more stuff in the second version, but overall it just analyzes all these kind of uh, documents that have information inside. So what kind of information? Uh, Everybody knows what metadata is as kind of, you usually have like a properties dialog and there it says like the owner of the document or stuff like that. So yeah, that, that is metadata, that is useful. But there's a whole bunch of stuff in the document itself that in last year at all we categorize as lost information and hidden information. We're not going to go over that again, but basically there's all over the document there is information that is useful. Uh, you can find who created the document, who, who has modified the document. So those are users that we, we might uh, use. Uh, there's paths, this, uh, in, over which operating system was this document created, using which software, is it using, was, if it was printed, what printer was it used? So you can discover if the printer is either local or remote. If the, the printer is remote, you have an IP maybe, and you have ACLs to know that that computer has access to, to that IP. Uh, there's paths. There's, if, the, if the document was stored either locally or remote, if it was stored remote, then you have the share. So again, you have either an IP or name with paths. Um, if the document was combined with information from a database, you have the metadata about the, infor the, about the database, like the name of the database, uh, the schema, like tables, um, co columns, all that kind of stuff. Well, and so on and so on. So there's a lot of stuff that, that we've been using uh, for that. Um, one example is pictures, like pictures, they have GPS information in pictures. So not only office documents, uh, graphical documents has also information. So. Um, and of course, the GPS information. Yeah. So let's so. with the first demo. This demo is uh, about Foca as a desktop tool, a tool that you can use to extract metadata, metadata to analyze documents, and so on. A quick demo with this. So first of all, I'm going to use over. 
This version, not this, up. This one, and if you want to use the focus uh, tool for your desktop to analyze uh, documents, you only have to drag and drop the file and just click on the right button to extract uh, metadata. And the first demo I'm going to do is with uh, a PDF document. This document is the installation guide of uh, Linux. It's a Linux distribution in Spain called Wada Linux. It's based on, on Debian. And of course, you can see a lot of information about how to install Linux. Linux is good. It's a very, a very good operating system, which, is, which can be used for a lot of things. And in this example, that we are going to and do. And the guide is, is in Spanish, because Linux in Spanish is better. Exactly. <laughs> And the only thing that we are going to do is drag and drop the file into the FOGA and extract metadata. And of course, you obtain a lot of information about this document. And in this example, it's quite funny because Linux is perfect for everything but for writing documents. So they are using Microsoft Word in a Windows machine. So it's quite nice because this Linux distribution is supposed to be for the end user. So it's quite nice. And <clears throat> the second one, uh, demo is about a picture because uh, with focus you cannot download picture from the internet but you can download you can drag and drop any picture that you have on your desktop machine just uh, like this in this example it's a picture that you probably can use in any of your social network that you are connected to this is <laughs> well as you can see there is a lot of white space on the picture you can see here white space white space white space are you seeing the white space in the, in the <laughs> White space, white space, white space. <laughs> well, maybe this can be the picture of your profile. So. <laughs> and of course, you can drag and drop the picture to the FOCA and just right button, extract metadata. And with FOCA, you can access to the exif information. In this example, it's quite nice because there is the, the thumbnail is complete. You can see the foot, <laughs> the guy, the foot of the guy. <laughs> And of course, the face is reflected on the TV screen. And of course, you can see here. No. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the GPS information or the place where the, f the picture was taken. Don't do that in your Facebook or Twitter. Or um, that can be very bad. So, go back to the slides, <laughs> and let's start with more things. So what, what we just seen is you take one single document, you extract information for that. You can either do funny stuff or you can get in trouble, like the, that Tony Blair famous affair with the uh, massive destruction weapons that were not and all that stuff. That, that's, all the, that's how the whole metadata thing uh, got famous. Uh, but FOCA is not really about that. Uh, what FOCA does is it takes, this is yours. So what FOCA does is, Instead of taking one document, we're going to take as many documents as, you, as we can. So we're going to go to a web search engine. We're going to download as many uh, documents that, as we can. And we're going to look at this information in all those documents. When you have one single document, then you're going to have like one user, one path, one printer. That's not very useful from a penetration testing unless you want to do some social engineering. When you have a thousand files, like with the mis missile defense agency, then you start putting this all together and you get a whole bunch of information. If you get the FBI with almost 5,000 files, you put all this information together and you saw last year what's happened. So uh, you, you can get a fairly accurate and very complete uh, map of the network. So what FOCA used to do uh, for last year was we went to Google and Bing. We explained why we, we, we did this. Like Google is not very good with file type extensions, and there was missing a lot of, uh, lot of documents. So we're combining the results from Google and Bing, uh, downloading the documents, extracting all the information that we think is useful. And then what FOCA is really good for is it takes all that information, cluster everything together, and prints a nice diagram of the network, user list, and that. For those that weren't here last year, we're going to see it again in some demos. After, after the demos of the last, uh, last year, we are not going to do any demo with the FBI or with the Missile Defense Agency just because some legal issues. So. <laughs> So other than looking at the information that is inside the documents, what we do is, uh, let's say that there's a server called uh, Web 1. Then there's probably a server called Web 2, Web 3. So we're going to try those. 
Uh, we're going to use Google sets also to see if there's a server called, I don't know, poland.defcon.com, then maybe there's another called uh, germany.defcon.com. So we're going to be trying all those. Uh, and then in the next slide, you can see, um, <coughs> I think this is from Novel. Uh, Novel? Yeah. So, yeah. well, there's, there's some novel information there. This is, this is looking for, uh, these are printer shares from, from a search in, in ODF documents. So you can see things like gamma, so then we're going to try alpha, beta, all that stuff. You can see SRV2, we're going to try SRV1, all right? So. so, this year we are going to do the demos with the White House, with <laughs> .gov, which is... <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> How many of you were here last year? Can we do this with the White House? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a tough task to do it uh, uh, manually, so we did, the, we did the project before. This is the, all the documents that we were able to download from the White House. As you can see, there are more than 2,000 documents. As you can see in the new version of FOCA, there is a tree with uh, different file types. So there are 1,700 uh, PDF files, PPT, PPTX, WordPerfect documents, Excel files, ODT, DocX, and so on. And of course, as you can imagine, they are not, cl they are not cleaning the documents. So just clicking on any document, you can discover a lot of information. This edition time is scaring to me. I don't <laughs> Also with the presentations, with the slides, index sample, a lot of information. This is the executive office of president with the Microsoft Office, the email. This is an internal domain which is not public on the internet. You only can ping this domain if you are inside the network. It's impossible to obtain any information from it. And of course, more, more data, exit files on pictures. I don't know, one of these maybe with the thumbnail. In this case, it's, uh, it's not naked. <laughs> 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 and with FOCA, with FOCA 1, you got uh, some list with the usernames of the guys who are not cleaning the documents. You can trace the documents from which data was taken. Just clicking on it, and FOCA takes you to the document. You can analyze the documents and so on an Excel file with a lot of servers, as you can see, printers, and so on. Well, scary. Of course, all the information that you can extract, you can discover, you can export it to a text file, and so on, and in the end, just clicking on this magic button, which, which is analyze metadata. Oh, it's working again. I'm going to stop. Which is metadata, analyze uh, metadata. You are going to be able to receive this information, which is the internal uh, map of the network that you can describe with the metadata. As you can see, there are people using Windows machines, XP, of course, people using Windows Vista. All that is without even pinging the White House. This is just from the metadata on the public documents. And the public documents. And of course, there are 19 servers which are a Windows servers. This is one with the internal domain, which is the O3. Probably there are a, 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 an O2 and O4 and so on. This is an internal domain. It's impossible to resolve the IP address and so on. And in any of these servers, you can discover which users are working on it remotely, operating system, and so on. That's what FOCA 1 was doing until one week ago, ago. So let's see what's new in the new version of FOCA. So <clears throat> today we start the new version of FOCA, FOCA 2, which is bigger than the first one. So it's, it's more bigger. This is basically a summary of what we're going to be talking for the rest of the session. This is what is new in FOCA. So, um, <laughs> Main, the main char characteristic of FOCA 2 is that when we were doing FOCA before, 
it was all about the documents. It was all about where it was inside the documents and all that data. And then we realized that we were missing a really big thing that was right in front of us, which is the URL from, when, from where you're downloading the, the documents. So just by looking at HTTP, HTTP uh, slash last, wherever, wherever, and the path and that, all that URL contains a lot 